All right, so now we want to find the equation of a line. And we're going to be given different scenarios. So just kind of pay attention and, uh, and let's, let's see where this goes. By the way, in this section, there's a lot of things that I'm leaving out. And I am leaving them out on purpose. I didn't overlook it. I left it out on purpose. It's because it is fully covered in the next math class. All right, so this one says, find an equation of a line with a slope of 7 and a y-intercept of 0, negative 1. Okay, so if you'll remember, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. m is our slope, which we're going to get from right there. And b is our y-intercept that we're going to get from right there. So y is equal to, and I'm just going to substitute in my slope, negative 7, don't forget your x, minus 1. And I got the negative 1 from right there. This is it. That's all I need. All right, so look at this one. Um, it says here, find an equation of the line shown below. All right, so remember, what two pieces of information do you need? You need slope. Let me try that in black. Slope, and you need the y-intercept. All right, so check this out. The slope, we're going to get to that next. Let's look at the y-intercept first. That's looking at us. It's right here. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 4. Our slope, we're going to have to do some counting. We're going to count from this red dot to this red dot. So I have to go up 1, 2. That's my top number. I don't like that color. There we go. 2. To the right, 1, 2, 3. So our slope is 2 thirds. And our y-intercept is 0, negative 4. So now we do have enough information to write the equation of the line. So y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 4. And there's our equation. All right, so for this one, find an equation of a line with a slope of m equals negative 2 fifths that contains the point 10, 3. Ah, we don't have our y-intercept anymore. But we can still use y equals mx plus b. The only thing is, we will not know what b is. This is what we're going to be solving for. All right, so we do have an m. That's right there. We actually have an x, and we have a y. And so we're going to put those numbers in, and we're going to solve for b. So y, in this case, is 3. I get it from, here, I'll show you. I'll get it from right here. So 3 is equal to my m I get from right here. And my x I get from right here. And I don't know my b. Okay, so look at this really closely and figure out where every single number came from. Okay, that's, that's step one to learning this process. All right, so now I am going to ask you to brush up on your fraction skills. So 5 will go into 10 twice. So I've got 3 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, plus b. Subtract 4 from both sides. So negative 1 is equal to b. Now I have enough information. I know my b and I know my m so I can write the equation of the line. And I'm done. That's it. y is equal to 2 fifths x minus 1. All right, so this one is very similar. Find an equation of a line with slope of m equals negative 1 thirds. There's our m. And that contains the point 6, negative 4. There's our x, there's our y. Again, we don't know our b. So we're going to have to solve for that. So using the formula y equals mx plus b, I'm going to substitute in for the y, which is negative 4. Our m is negative 1 third. 
our x is 6 plus b, because that's what we're solving for. Okay, so negative 4 is equal to negative 1 third times 6 is negative 2. If you don't believe me, grab that calculator. Add 2 to both sides. That went away. So I'm left with negative 2 is equal to b. Now I have enough information. So I've got y is equal to negative 1 third x. Notice where I got that from right there. And now I, whatever I solved for b, so this is going to go in there, minus 2. There we go. We're done. Okay, so this one is going to force you to remember about horizontal lines. Remember, if this is our coordinate grid right here, this is our x, this is our y, all horizontal lines look like that. They could be anywhere on that y-axis, but nonetheless, they are horizontal, okay? Look at which variable or which axis that crosses. It only crosses the y-axis. Therefore, it can only have a y in the equation. Now, which one of these in the point, negative 1, 2, is your y? Well, this is your x, and this is your y. And so what does y equal in this problem? It equals 2. So that is an equation of a horizontal line that contains the point negative 1, 2. And there's the point negative 1, 2. Okay, so for this problem, find an equation of a line that contains the point 5, 4, and 3, 6. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, so now we don't have anything. We don't have the slope, we don't have the y-intercept, nothing is staring at us. So guess what? We have to solve for every bit of it. This is about as difficult as the problems are going to get. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to remember our slope formula. And here I'm going to let that be x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So I've got 6 minus 4 over 3 minus 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So our slope is negative 1. Okay, now this other part. You're going to have to trust me on this for a second. But we're just going to pick a point. It does not matter which point you pick. Just pick one. And so I'm going to pick this one just because it came first. I'm going to use this as my x and this as my y and this as my slope. So now I'm going to use y is equal to mx plus b and I'm going to substitute 5n for x, 4n for y, and negative 1n for m and I'm going to solve for b. So I've got 4 is equal to negative 5 plus b, add 5, 9 is equal to b. So now I do have enough information. I've got my slope. I've got my y-intercept. I can actually write the equation of this line. y is equal to negative 1x, or just negative x, plus 9. All right, I want to show you something. I want to do this problem again, but instead of using 5, 4 this time, I'm going to use 3, 6. Okay, so I'll do that in a different color. So, this is our x, this is our y. And I'm still using the negative 1 for our slope. That hasn't changed. So I've got 6 is equal to negative 1 times our x plus b. 6 is equal to negative 3 plus b. Add 3 to both sides. Either way, I got that 9 was our y-intercept. Either way. So that's why it really does not matter, as long as you do your math right, which point you use to solve for your b. All right, so we're going to try that again using different points. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to find 
my slope. So I've got negative 2 and a negative 1 goes there. 2 and negative 3 goes there. So I've got change, change. So I've got negative 1 on top. So our slope is negative 1 fifth. All right. So now I'm going to just choose the first one. And I'm going to put in negative 1 for y. m is negative 1 fifth. x is negative 3. So I've got negative 1 is equal to 3 fifths plus b. Subtract 3 fifths. Oops, I wrote that wrong. Subtract 3 fifths from both sides. And try this on your calculator. It's really the same as negative 5 fifths minus 3 fifths, which is negative 8 fifths. And now I do have enough information to write the equation of the line. So I'm going to write y is equal to our slope is negative 1 fifth x, don't forget your x, minus 8 fifths. Okay, so if I had used the other point, I would have negative 2 is equal to our m is negative 1 fifth times 2 plus b. So negative 2 is equal to negative 2 fifths plus b. Add 2 fifths to both sides. So negative 2 is the same thing as negative 10 fifths. And I would get negative 8 fifths whenever I'm done with that. So no matter what, I still got a y-intercept of negative 8 fifths did not matter which point I used. All right, so last problem. Find an equation of a line that contains the points negative 2, 4 and negative 2, 3. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. And really, that's write it in slope-intercept form if it's possible. So let's take a look at this. So the first thing, we want to find our slope. So I get negative 7 on top, and look at that, I get 0. So this thing is undefined. Don't forget, when you have 0 in the denominator, it is undefined. All right, so what do we know about undefined lines? We know that undefined lines are vertical lines. Vertical lines only have the variable x in their equation. So this is x is equal to, and what is x equal in both of these? It kind of screams at you now, doesn't it? It's the same. So our equation is x equals negative 2. And that is as close to slope-intercept form as we can get because we, we don't have any slope. It's undefined. This is as good as this equation gets. All right, guys, so that's it for this lesson. We're done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the class. I know that it was challenging, but I hope you still at least enjoyed coming. And, um, and I certainly enjoyed having you in class. But don't ever hesitate to send me any messages. So if you need any help in the future, you are always welcome to send me a message.